I'm trying to request Cookpad to join because we are doing the live session with Cookpad. Um, hey everyone. I'm trying to wave to everyone who's joined the live right now. Oh, hi, hi, how are you? Hi, everyone. Hi, hi. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you clearly. So I think what? we are good. We can... yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I think we are good. We can start with the live. Um, so welcome, everyone. My name is Nimo, and uh, we're being joined by Zawadi from uh, Cookpad. And uh, we'll be doing the baking one-on-one -on -one session. So we were to have it last week, but we didn't have it because of um, unavoidable circumstances. But at least now we are having them. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about Cookpad. And Zawadi will add anything that I've uh, left out in regards to Cookpad. Um, so Cookpad is a platform whereby you can post your recipes, you can share with your friends. You can uh, get recipes like to cook for dinner, inspiration, to cook for lunch, dinner, and all that. And the recipes are by home cooks, professionals, and even chefs. Like, uh, like I, I, I have a list of chefs that I follow, but I can't remember offhand. Yeah, so it's a really, it's a really good platform to be in. So you can always check it out later or on the side right now. Um, anything you would like to add, Zawadi? Yeah, and our mission in Cookpad is to make everyday cooking fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make any simple recipe you eat at home and share with your friends, inspire each other. Our value mm -hmm. is to keep a chain of foodies who encourage each other and build a happier and healthier community. Welcome, everyone. Yeah. Glad to see you here. <laughs> Welcome you on Cookpad platform, Cookpad mm -hmm. Kenya, because we are in 71 countries currently uh -huh. so we see how international we are yeah so um i have a couple of questions from the people who asked last week and uh, some of them were coming from my dm i think i shared i shared a couple of them so um maybe you can tell us a little bit about your background uh, in baking so that at least even when people are asking questions when <laughs> joke Yeah, actually, I'm, uh, I'm a baker. That is my passion, and I'm a baker from experience. Uh, uh, I can, I'm able to answer at least a number of questions without any, any problem. So let them come. Yes, and I've sampled your cake. So I know. Una joke to una fine. So, yeah. Now, that is a, a very, a very a tough question. It's sort of tough, eh? Between yeah. a gas or electric oven, which one would you prefer? Pardon? Between a gas or electric oven, which one would you prefer? Like, if you are going to get an oven, who does that have gani? Actually, for me, I have both, but I, I would advise, for now, with the current economy, electric mm. is way to go. But gas, you can have an addition if you don't have, because of the KPLC, gas yeah. is always handy because of the, the fluctuation of the, of the electricity. But I prefer electric, electricity because the tokens are way cheaper than gas. Mm. Now, yeah. Yeah. But... And and People find trouble in baking with gas unless you are shown literally how to use. It's very hectic unless you have a thermometer or something, oven thermometer. So I'd, mm. I'd, I'd, rather, I'd rather use tokens because I've tried both. And the result, even the token cake is cheaper than the gas cake. Mm. According to and does it make better in terms of, like, even when you're doing 
uh, when you're baking with an electric oven, is it more even than when you're using a gas oven? Am I just the same? Is it a preference for you? Yeah, it's not the same unless for an electric oven, unless you have a, the expensive ovens like like Elba or Ariston, the cakes uh-huh. are not up to but gas is the result are excellent because gas is much hotter it's it's hotter oh. when you bake with it so it brings good result so and yeah. if you have this cheap ovens normally the cakes are not all that fluffy unless you use your skills your head back so mostly oh. if you need to bake with a gas i'd advise you bake with a gas oven but it's these days it's very expensive Right. So you know, Masha, it's a symbol for if you're a newbie at baking and you are doing it on a gas oven, it's a kutanganya kidogo hadi sasa utaweza ku utaelewa maneno ya ku bake. Yeah. But I would oh, advise okay. if you can afford the cheaper ovens like the 60 liter ovens, invest also in an oven thermometer because most of them ha- heat unevenly. If you have a thermometer it will heat it will tell you it has reached 180 degrees then you you automatically book with it and it will bring a fluffy and moist cake so oh. the ovens come with a natural the i think the time itself but it's an evenly proportioned so when you bake you find that some parts of the cake are soggy and the other parts of the cakes are fluffy so you need to invest in an oven thermometer to be able to bake with this cheap oven yes i know that most people they usually ask me at the kwanini my cake is coming out as a as soggy ama haikuwa haiku rise vizuri kwa hivyo it nafa kuuliza father what kind of oven they are using you see yeah them yeah because the cheaper the oven the result is not good actually if you want to if you are a, a passionate baker you can invest in a better oven like the inbuilt mm-hmm. ovens maybe the elba mm-hmm. the ariston or beko but these mm-hmm. portable ovens are a mess sometimes they mess you up because of the time they start heating unevenly oh okay at least now i've also learned something about the difference between gas and electric oven in terms of when you're baking yeah higher okay. another question that i really get a lot is um when baking mtu mwenye ametumia blue band mtu mwenye ametumia eh butter na mtu mwenye ametumia cooking oil ile liquid will they all get the same result according to you no but this this thing in baking i think baking is you need always it's not just it's an art so there are cakes that require oil there are egg cakes that require blue band or butter there are cakes that require butter so you find oh. that most bakers just bake with blue band or prestige or something but if a cake asks for whatever it asks if it's cooking oil use cooking oil because the results are diff- totally different and it's mm-hmm. not bring yeah for example you have 200 grams butter you have 200 oh. ml oil of mm-hmm. oil of when you're doing a cake they have told you mm-hmm. use 200 grams of butter or mm-hmm. another cake say 200 ml of oil if you do both cakes they'll be definitely different so you have oh. to follow that of a good cake is you have to follow the recipe to the latter because and if you are a good baker you'll just look at a recipe and know whether it yield a better cake or it's the owner of the recipe may be altered and maybe didn't want to give you the so you can maneuver in your own way and bring out a nice cake but if you are a baker learning it's so hard to tell whether the cake will be yeah I mean, that's why you find people trying to bake but they they bring out soggy cakes because you just bake it because you've been given a recipe you don't use your head and say will this recipe really add up to a nice cake so baking is an art you have to use your head even if i borrow your recipe i i need to all i can you can give me a recipe out of not a good way okay you don't be maybe to know what you're doing so i you must use my head to alter and so that the recipe can suit me Yes, yes. So even the recipes that I usually get especially mm-hmm. on right, 
I got I got one for I've never done a uh, banana bread on my page. So I've been looking around for a banana bread recipe like one which nenye mimi nitapenda. So I tried it. Imagine I tried one. I don't know in panga ya ya there's this guy there's this guy on cook but then I posting it sana. So I'll I'll try and get the video on the background and and, and mention him. But he usually has mm-hmm. very nice recipe. like you know from the clear like you say add add make it well detailed if and you can follow mm-hmm. it is very easy to follow mm-hmm. so another question that i get is um let me see let me see let me see uh, i don't know what what could be the reason of uh, getting mushy cake because there's someone who asked uh, my cake come out very mushy what does that mean Yeah, mushy cakes is a lot of liquid actually. Oh. A beginner I would advise, you know, it, I'd rather that person invest in eggs. You know, eggs are not actually expensive. She can use mm. a lot of and avoid liquid. You see, she'll be, she'll bake a good cake. But I think she uses less eggs and uses a lot of liquid so the cake becomes so good. And also the, her oven is poor. Maybe she heats up like at 140 it's not even 180 preheating then she bakes. Yeah. Yes. A cake you have to bake systematically. When it says bake at 170 preheat at 180 bake at 170 you have to follow this to the latter. Mm, mm yeah I agree. And even the ear part here yeah, being mushy because of the temperature it could be I should have asked a follow up question to ask whether it's a gas or electric oven. Because yeah. una kama ni gas hata jua temperature imefika imefika wapi whether it's correct or lower Yeah and I think she needs to add to add um to add to use a thermometer actually thermometers are just the game mm. if she yeah. she needs to use a thermometer to to gauge her oven because most ovens are not what you see most ovens are china made and they don't heat heat evenly they they say them with so they 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 don't have some things that <laughs> Look, <laughs> the, the, the enamel stay don't heat evenly they just heat one side is hot the other side is not very hot so you bake you, you sit down relax knowing that your cake is baking when you cut one part is ugali another part is so when you have a thermometer at least you will not you'll produce a good Yeah. Okay. So when we come to home baking, when someone wants to maybe start a business, let's say mm-hmm. at talking about bakery from home. Uh-huh. Um mm-hmm. you start marketing yourself one and number two, how do you price your 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 goods? Because let's say for me, if I if, I, if there's a time I was thinking about it, like about starting a home bakery from home, then I'm mm-hmm. thinking everything that i'm using i'm not saying that at the you know fanya biashara i want to stream and thing but mm-hmm. i realize because of the quality that i want i have to use expensive things let's say kama butter eh uh, butter eh uh, niteka mayai niteka nitatumia unga nzuri you, you get so udona at the end my end product you ni kesa buyo everything that i have used na una eh hii cake iko ile watu wataweza ku afford So how do you go about it uh, in terms when you want to make it, when you want to bake for profit for business Yeah when you want to bake for profit actually you need to weigh you need to weigh what you've used actually you can use something you can start with shopping also you shop at a place mm-hmm. you shop in bank and shop at a place that is cheap you don't go to Kafo and you can cook the same thing at near market at a cheaper price. So mm. you start with that you cost like you cost like when you you cost everything you add mm. the labor mm. the labor you use and also you add your labor what you you yourself have to pay yourself. So me mm. what I do if it's a cake like I've used two eggs, three eggs, three like three cups sugar. I I I put the price like an egg is 10 bob for me I can say it's 10 bob I use 3 eggs 
So I, 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 I put the prices of everything I've used, the labor, the electricity, the water, everything I multiply by two. Mm. Why multiply by two? Because of the misleading, there's something can happen in between because you, you, you have to, I don't know what I can say. Because anything you, you do, honestly, like three eggs, you'll get 30 bob. If you, you get like a cake, normally my cakes, I can get like an average of expenditures like 600 or something. So uh -huh. I just multiply by two and be able to charge the customer. I'll be able to pay myself. Uh -huh. I'll be able to pay whoever did some something for me. I'll be able to buy tokens. I'll be able to fill whatever I am using. The water I'm using, labor. But you find that people uh -huh. just list down, I use three eggs. Three, then they say, maybe I can just say 200 I add on top. Remember, the customer can say you drop it at his place. The customer can mm -hmm. say you do this. This covers for a lot of things. So anything you do, just do the costing and multiply by two. Okay. So that it, okay. it gets for the misleading and anything that can arise or whatever. Um, okay. So um, and in terms of marketing, what do you think are the best ways? Like, okay, you may find your you may cost, you may... You may pick a cake in, product marketing. How do I now get my business out there? Like, you, like, you, like giving us advice from your, from your end. Eh? How hard was it? How easy was it? Yeah, it's actually, it, I'm just talking with, from experience. In Kenya, actually, the best business are the best business that have a lot of input. Business, mm. for business to hit high, you have to go, to go deeper. Like adverts, like the adverts but us like the middle class or, or who are starting off the best yeah. thing you can do is eat by referrals because if you eat my cake definitely Nemo, you have friends do you you can tell my friend your friend zawadi's cake is this year you see referrals can lead you to the another step another step as you go so before you go to that internet start with the, your neighbor as you, you perfect mm. and set to the end. Referrals really give you a live night to go, to go to the social media because you can go to the social media and your cakes are not up to standard. So you waste your cash. You'll see, you waste your resources. So start with, when you have so many referrals, then you can go to the advert part or the social media. Then that's how, but corporates definitely start with the adverts because they have money. They start, they hit high. Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. Hiya. Another question that I get is like, what are the principles of uh, doubling and having having a recipe? Like, if I want to, if I give you a recipe, let's say I'm doing a one kg cake, and then the person who's trying the recipe, I could have to double. Maybe I could have to make a little bigger. I pick a two kg. So how how do you go about having the recipe? Do you multiply the recipe by two or there are some things you just leave and don't you just use as they are in the recipe? Yeah, I'll give an example. Like for a cake, a normal cake like you I have used four hundred grams flour, two hundred grams sugar, two hundred grams um butter, cup of milk. To get half that cake, that's precisely a one kg. To, to get a half that cake, I'll half everything. Mm. If I want, to, if I want like a high, like a double, I'll double. Like four hundred, I can put four hundred. I double like four hundred. I put four hundred. Two hundred, I put two hundred. That's doubling the cake. I'll get two kgs. Yeah, yeah mm. but if I want, I'll half the. From the far, one kg ingredients, I'll have the ingredients. And what, what about okay, okay, double the leavening agents like baking powder and baking soda? Do they remain the same, Mama? You also double those? You also double because definitely the cake will be, the, the ingredients will be too much. So you have to double everything. Every okay. little everything in their ratios. If it's one teaspoon baking, you have to do two for the double you've done. Mm. Or if you have to, you have the bacon then. Mm -hmm. Hi. And then, Dini, uh, uh, there's someone who said, akitumia, akitumia baking soda, 
Mm-hmm. Keki yake inaonja inaonja nini? What did she say? It, her, her cake turns out being very bitter. Yeah, I know. So <laughs> yeah, and I also experienced the same because there was a time I used to do a, a half a tablespoon of baking soda and then when I'm eating the cake inaonja sabuni sabuni it's not even something you can go down. Inaonja to funny. <laughs> so what do you think of Baking soda is not used in all cakes. Baking soda is, is is actually it's used to neutralize like it's like an acid acid what what do they call it? Because you use it in 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 when you use buttermilk is when you use the baking soda to neutralize the acidity when you're using lemon. So not all cakes use oh. baking soda and if you have people have their own tricks because they think baking soda all makes cakes fluffy mm. but baking soda only is used to neutralize the acidity in cakes when you're using buttermilk so baking mm. soda is always used in red velvets and some unique recipes so and if you want to put in cakes as so people think it makes the cake fluffy do not exceed an eighth of a teaspoon because if you exceed it the cake will be bitter definitely uh, because when when i'm baking even if i see for recipe to say maybe at one one teaspoon of baking powder one teaspoon of baking soda i usually change everything and i do one teaspoon of baking powder and a pinch of baking soda i need a little pinch that yeah, i need to do a bit the result and for those who don't know actually that's a good question those who don't know will follow that recipe and it will be bitter So they should just yeah, take note when any recipe with baking soda please minimize that you can do a pinch always a pinch that yeah. is a need of a yeah mm. so um the next one is um we I, I answer this one but I would like to also have your opinion on this um in your opinion what's the gener- what's the general uh, rule of thumb when baking Uh, the rule of thumb yeah. uh, the rule of thumb is always i think we have five or four i think rules of thumb we have five eh? or four uh, always yeah. or in baking always always preheat your oven always use the correct ingredients always follow the recipe to the letter i think that i can answer it that way yeah as a pande recipe you can't do guesswork just follow what has been written yeah um yeah. alafu we have like three more questions so there is someone who asked my cake bake very well and come out very come out very delicious but they don't try what could be the problem um, ama what am i doing wrong maybe the oven door was opened too early or okay. let her check raising agent they are definitely maybe expired you can buy a raising agent if you don't check the expiry date it will always fluctuate okay. but no way you'll put okay. the right raising agent and you don't op- op- oven, open the oven door prematurely and the cake doesn't rise that is i don't know maybe the oven also preheats unevenly it's it's cold inside and she doesn't know mm. yeah. yeah so ndomana ina ina shuka the oven she must check the oven temperature always yeah. uh, um i think nya musho oh shamaliza maswali what do you yeah i think shamaliza uh, i can't I, i can't i can't seem to remember the other one because um what uh, make it yeah so between which one do you prefer i think this one you already answered between which one do you prefer between baking powder and baking soda you remember you said um it's always good to use baking powder and uh, an eighth of baking soda. Mhm. Think of Yeah. So this one is just a pinch. You know, I rather I, I use a pinch because a pinch an eighth somebody can use the teaspoon they use in the normal teaspoon is a disaster. 
So mm. let me just tell them a pinch because if you don't have the real measuring spoons, then you are, you can mess up. It's a, it's just, a, it's a, yeah. Okay. So, uh, so we are done with the first one. I don't know if there is anyone, anyone who's viewing live who has a question that wants um an attack of kujua jibu. Anything to do with baking, cook food. or life you know the you know the in the first mm first uh about baking so um where is your bakery located so that people can at least even promote you Ah uh, my bakery is on Thika Road. Yeah, uh, the yeah. other side of not Clay City, Clay City the other side. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's it's not Zimmerman really but it's just the other when you reach Kawash you, you just cross the other side. My bakery is there. It's known as Parel's Food Parlor. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How are I don't see it like any question. So I don't know. Uh, also, sending the questions last week, so um, yeah. So as I think, I think we are done now. In terms of Maswali, and, and I'd like to remind guys that uh, you can always check out um, Nawadi's recipes on Tupac. or my recipes on cookpad and other home cooks and other foodies recipes on cookpad when you go there at cookpad and you post your recipe you can always tag me you want us to try or feature your recipes in um, i'm doing i'm doing this for like currently because i'm not doing much posting or cooking any of my recipes i'm just trying out a recipes that we're doing here so if you like me to try yours remember to do a hashtag either cooking with Nemo or at cooking with Nemo. Then we can, uh, we can see where I can tell you if Chakulako Pia ni tao muama how much may tell you improve my entama. So, uh, so I have a question. Do you still um, host the classes? Because I saw you, you're doing a, 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 a Zoom class, a Zoom cooking class. Yeah, we have a Zoom cooking class uh any anyone who is interested can download our app on play store or uh-huh. use the link can you join the zoom hangouts we are having a zoom hangout and also a unique recipe we are teaching for free so if any uh-huh. is interested you can just download the app share at least a recipe or you can just uh-huh. download the app and you can still join Yeah. So I'll also do a post later on and link up the the, the free cooking class that Cooper is hosting. So if you like to wow. join, you can also sign up. Eh? Yeah. So that I think that I think we're done for for this live. We'll be doing another live. So if you want to watch us uh, when we're doing the other live on Facebook, please feel free to join us and I will save this live session for everyone who not uh, who hasn't been able to join us yeah so faherini wow. and uh, thank you thank you zawadi for taking your time to share with us and, and share with us your knowledge na kutufundisha kuhusu baking and answering our questions thank you to and welcome please yeah. save the live really want to watch also <laughs> I, i'll make sure to save it okay okay Ah, okay. Enjoy your thank evening. You. And mm-hmm. everyone for joining. Everyone who has joined us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm.